Hey guys, Nicole here from Bake to Jour, and today's video is all about these adorable bunny macarons. We are going to just hop right into it and get started on these cutie patooties. In order to make bunny macarons, I suggest getting a template. There are many online, or if you're subscribed to my newsletter, you received this template a previous week, and you can just print that out. So once you've printed out your template, just slide it underneath your preferred baking mat, whether it be silicone, Teflon, or parchment, and make sure you slide it out before baking. Once you've prepared that template, scale all your ingredients, prepare your piping bags to receive the batter, and make sure you have your oven turned on to 300 degrees Fahrenheit to preheat. Here I have an air bake insulated tray, so I will be using the no rest method. But if you don't have an air bake tray, you can definitely just rest your bunnies and make sure they're completely dry before putting them in the oven. So in order to make my macarons, I'm just gonna start whipping up my egg whites. If you are new to making macarons and you need a full in-depth tutorial, please click the link above to my 101 macaron video. It has a lot of detail on how to go about making macarons for beginners and it has the recipe in the description of that video. Here I'm using a hand mixer because I'm making a smaller batch with the same ratios from the recipe from my Macaron 101 video. So I'm just whipping up my egg whites till it's nice and foamy. And then I'll add my egg white powder and sugar mixture into my whipping egg whites. Once all of my sugar and egg white powder is incorporated into my egg whites, I continue to whip on low speed until it, the sugar is dissolved and the mixture is not granular at all. At this point, you can add your coloring. If you're using a powdered coloring, I'm just adding a little bit of the Sugar Art Master Elite white. I'm gonna be making some white bunnies today. So I added that powder in and just keep whipping until you reach stiff peaks. Here I have my dries ready to incorporate into my meringue. This is almond flour and confectioner sugar sifted together and whisked to combine. I add in my dries in a few additions, being careful not to deflate too much at this point, but just to get all those dries in. Once they look pretty well dispersed in my meringue, I will start doing the macronage process, which is when you deflate your batter to the proper consistency. So here we are pushing out the air purposefully. Push your batter up against the side of your bowl, then with your spatula, you're gonna scoop the batter from the bottom up and bring it to the top and just repeat that over and over. So press down your batter to release air and then make sure you're toppling your batter so your batter gets deflated evenly. Once you get to the right consistency where your batter is flowing off your spatula, you are ready to put this in your piping bag and start piping. Here I've prepared a nine millimeter tip, which is about equivalent to a Wilton 12 tip. And I have a six millimeter tip for the ears. So I'm putting a little less batter in the piping bag that is dedicated to my ears. And most of my batter is going into my nine millimeter tip for the head of the bunny. Make sure to seal your bags up while they wait so no air gets to them and dries out your batter. To pipe these, Simply pipe a circle like you are doing your normal macarons. So I start in the middle and apply even pressure till I reach just about to the line. And I stop, do a little counterclockwise flick of the wrist just to break the batter so I can move my piping tip to the next one. And I just like to do all my circles first. And then you take your smaller tip and pipe your batter upwards from the head to the top of the template for the ears. Now the batter will spread a bit. If you don't want your ears to combine in the middle, then I suggest using an even smaller tip. 
but I like when they combine and I feel like they bake better where it's not as crunchy for the ears, so I prefer how they melt together here. Again, if you prefer the design not to come together like this, then make sure you have a smaller tip for your ears so they stay put. Once you've piped everything, then you're ready to take your scribe and just go over the line where the ears meet the head to make sure they are one. And then I add some sprinkles. Here I have homemade royal icing bows and I put on those royal icing bows as well as some funfetti sprinkles. I love having a little sprinkle crown on my bunnies because it's an easy way to decorate without having to get out more royal icing or more detail with edible paint afterwards. These sprinkles are perfect for quick production and they look super cute. I like when the sprinkles go all the way around the bunny, so I put them on the fronts and the backs of my bunnies. Here you can see all of my bunnies have ears, but you can also choose to just do ears on the front of your macaron and then have the pair just a regular circle so its little mate will not have the ears if you prefer. Once you're done adorning your bunnies with a beautiful sprinkle crown, this is the fun part. Just toss them into the oven. So remember, we preheated our oven at 300 degrees. And then for me, I dropped mine down five degrees just to keep the internal temperature around 300 to 305 Fahrenheit. While these bake up, we can make our filling. For half of these bunnies, I did an oat milk latte filling. And the other half, for the kiddos, I did a raspberry patafui filling. My raspberry patafui filling is almost like a jam filling, but it's thicker. It holds on its own. It's not gonna squeeze out of the sides and it is not gonna make your shell mature too quickly. So here we've got some raspberry filling here and you can see room temperature. It's been holding beautifully the whole time and it's upright too. So it's a very nice thick filling, dairy free and very vibrant raspberry flavor. So this recipe is actually be available in my ebook when I add my fillings addendum, so stay tuned on that. The other half of these macarons are filled with oat milk latte buttercream. For the oat milk latte, it's super easy, another American buttercream base. The first thing you're gonna do is if you have instant coffee or espresso, you're gonna mix a teaspoon of this with a tablespoon of oat milk. Mix that with a fork and let it dissolve and sit while you whip up your butter. Just take 113 grams softened room temperature butter, unsalted, whip that up, and then you're gonna add in your confectioner sugar. You'll need 130 grams of confectioner sugar. And just whip that up till it's nice and light and fluffy, and all that confectioner sugar is dissolved. And then you can add in five grams of your oat milk espresso mixture. Mix that in, taste it, see how you like it, I usually add another five grams of oat milk into this. If you want this even more coffee flavored, add more of your oat milk espresso flavor to taste. Once you're done with your buttercream, just set it aside or get it ready in your piping bag. And let's take those bunnies out of our oven. Once they are out of the oven and cooled, we will get to do the fun part and decorate these beauties. Here I have some petal dust. You can also use the Sugar Art Elite products for petal decor. Take your little brush, get some petal dust on, make sure to tap off the excess a little bit, and then in a circular motion, draw on their blush. I suggest taking a clean paintbrush and just wiping off the excess powder that inevitably gets on your macarons. And then you have your beautiful blush, and then you can make your eyes. I like to use Chef Master edible markers. I feel like they have such a nice fine tip and they're easy to work with. So I drew on my eyes for my bunnies and then a nice pink nose and a mouth. I even did a little bit of that petal dust up their ears for a little shadow to have definition on those ears. Once these are fully decorated, you are ready to pair up your macarons with their mate and fill. So for my buttercream, I just pipe right in the middle like you're doing a normal circular 
macaron, and then bring it up a little bit to the ears. You wanna leave a little space between the edge of your macaron and your buttercream, so when you sandwich your macarons together, they aren't going to squish out the buttercream or whatever filling you have out the sides. So here I have my oat milk latte buttercream, and then I'm also sprinkling on some extra oats that have been pulverized in my food processor. After you sandwich those all together, I'm also doing my raspberry patafui for the kids and sandwich those all together as well. You can see how thick this is and it's not as easy to pipe. So just be careful not to overfill with these as well and they will stay right inside your bunny macarons without any leakage. And once they're all sandwiched together, that's it. You store these in your refrigerator for 24 to 48 hours and enjoy. I previously had these pink macarons from a macaron class I had. The combination of the pink and the white I think look really cute together. And they even have the little bunny tails on the back side, little cotton tail. They are so fun and they're also a really enjoyable task with your kids. They are fun for the whole family. So thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful time making your own bunny macarons. Mm. The oat milk latte is so good. Thank you friends, happy baking. See you on the next video. Mm.